Uh, this is Boston Lear, Lear there and everywhere. Uh, this is the final episode of the year at the awards banquet. Well in from the right side, LaBelle, he was checked, they score! Boston Lear! They're uh, throwing some punches at one another. There gets the first one in there, he knocks Nichols helmet off. Here with Derek Griffin and Cam Lanigan, two of the other 20 year olds on the team. Um, really close to me right now because we gotta fit them in. They're a couple of big boys. Yeah. They're my, they're my big brothers, pretty much, right? Yeah, okay. Here with my good friend, uh, Curtis Vall. Curtis picking up uh, quite a bit of hardware there. Seven awards, I think you got. You gonna go on your good side there? Yeah, that's my good side, yeah. All right, Alex, uh, what's your comment on uh, Curtis Vall winning seven awards at the awards banquet? Well, I mean, if I knew that was gonna happen, I probably would've stayed home tonight, but... <laughs> but, uh... I was just gonna let him sit down beside me because I was at the front of the stage and save his legs. <laughs> Sick and tired of watching him. Walk in the back of the room, he didn't even just seat. walk though. He just had to just like, yeah, yeah. He knew he was getting those awards. He needed to pick the yeah, farthest yeah. seat at the back, just <laughs> so he, everyone could see him walk up. What? what was the you got seven awards. I want to know your comment on it. Ah, uh, you know, I forked out a lot of money for those awards. You know, I went to local businesses, paid them off. Uh, fan choice. I was slipping twenties to people as I left the rink. You know. It was getting a little bit tiring. Yeah, I was. Just <laughs> <impressed>. <laughs> you know, he, he really does deserve it. I mean. Curtis did so much for this team, and it, it's on and off the ice. He's just one of the best guys. We call him the nice guy. He's too nice of a guy, but maybe if we were a little nicer, we'd get a few more awards. Uh, it was pretty, pretty unbelievable night, though, to see all the guys here, and uh, pretty honored and you know uh, humbled for sure to get those awards. Okay, Alex, if there was a, if you could pick an award that wasn't given out tonight, uh, if you think there should be another one added to it, what would it be, and who would get it? Well, I think it would probably be me for the best hair award. Um, worst vehicle, and I think it would have to go to Derek because he's, he's confused between uh, his, a race car and a truck. He's got a spoiler on the back of his Dodge, and the mist, how many times we tell him, it just looks like an ugly towel rock, he won't take it off. He's convinced that it's adding to his thing, so I think it'd be worst car in Derek if he's getting his first one. Maybe biggest head. I know my little brother gave me that one there. Uh, some of those guys on the team, pretty confident in themselves. Uh, Maybe number Miles. nine and number 14, by any <laughs> Maybe Miles Coolis could take that one, hey? I think just like after your career is going to be done, Lirzy, they're going to change the Success Factors Award to the Lirzy Award because he is so good at those. So I just want to say that. Lear Factor. The best nickname, something like that. The, the numbers guy, Miles. Uh, under, an earlier episode, I said something else, but that's the new number one nickname for sure. Miles is here, he could tell you how many times he's been on Lear there and everywhere else, what we call him the numbers guy. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and say Rex could also win that award. I think the guy won for block, sh block shots about every game. Yeah, the guy he, likes to sell out for the team. He's yeah, a good I think team he had guy. a better save percentage a few nights than I did. So I thank you for that. <laughs> yeah. uh, you got three great 20 year olds on this team uh, Rex, Lanny, and then Piercy. What is your favorite 20 year old moment from those guys? Well, Pierce. Uh, I don't know if we can talk about it on television. Just in general, Piercy probably? Just in general, probably the craziest guy I've ever met. We were roommates for, uh, as soon as you came here for a little while, I like to think I made the transition for you a little bit easier. Um, let you borrow some of my clothes. No, just the battles, the battles on the bus, uh, trying, to, trying to get back there, trying to go to the washing, just a taxi or stuff. So. Just the battles on the back of the bus, like Valky said earlier. I mean, they were just funny especially when we're firing you up. That's the best part. <laughs> really astonished me, astonished me how you can sleep through your alarm for about 20 minutes when it's, I can hear it in the next room and you can't even wake up from, from it right by your ear, but. Uh, I think it was Seattle. Three in the morning, we're coming across the border and the bottle came back, hit me in the back of the head. I got fired up, I grabbed the Gatorade one, I whipped it up and I get split in jetties all over Jenny, just covered in blue Gatorade for the rest of the trip. You know, just the shenanigans those three pulled there at the back of the bus is, you know, the best memories for sure. All right, boys, uh, well, this concludes the season and the, I guess, Lear there and everywhere for this year. Uh, thanks for being my guest. It's always appreciated. Thanks, man. Thank you. Love you, Boston. Love, love, you, Boston. love, you, too. love you guys, too. Stuttering everywhere. Thanks for watching Lear there and everywhere. Follow me on Twitter at Beantown underscore 20. Tigers make it five to four. All that was made possible by some hard work